oxygen. The blood comes back to the left side of the heart by the left pulmonary veins. Now where are these? These are the left pulmonary veins. And you can see that they're called the pulmonary veins because they're bringing blood into the heart, towards the heart. And the left pulmonary veins will take the blood into the left atrium. This is the left atrium right here. Okay. And which will contract along with the right atrium. Both of these atrium atrias will contract together and both of these ventricles contract together they don't contract at the same time because that would be counterproductive. So this left atrium contracts and pushes the blood into the left ventricle. This is the left ventricle as we said. And, and the valve here is called the bicuspid or mitral valve. And um, the blood comes into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle then it goes through another gate called which you can see over here. So blood comes from the left atrium to the left ventricle to this gate right over here. Um, and this gate is called the aortic semilunar valve. And once the blood pressure increases in the left ventricle, it will open, force the valve to open here and send the blood into the aorta which is the red one right here. And the blood first goes to the arc of aorta. This is the arc of the aorta. You can see that it's arched. From the aorta, it enters many different smaller arteries which carry the blood all throughout the body and returns it finally back to the heart. And that's that's the cycle. As you can see that the arc of the aorta divides into smaller arteries, the first of which is called the brachiocephalic trunk. Second is called the left common carotid artery. And the third one is called the left subclavian artery. And Another thing to notice about this diagram is that you can tell which side of the heart is left by looking at a cross-sectional cross-section or this kind of a view of the heart by noticing that this side of the myocardium wall here is thicker than this side and when you look at a heart it will always be thicker in one side and less and thinner on the other side and that is because the thicker side is the left side of the heart it's always going to be the left side of the heart because the left ventricle is bigger than the right ventricle and the left ventricle needs to push the blood to the whole body whereas the right ventricle only needs to push the blood to the lungs so that's why it is bigger and that's why it's also thicker well and the other way, if you forget this, to notice which side of the heart is left, is to notice that the apex, or the bottom of the heart right here, this is the bottom of the heart, is pointing towards the left side. And it always will be pointing towards the left side. And that concludes this video on the structure of the heart, its internal anatomy the blood flow through the heart and the conduction system of the heart. I know that it was a lot of information but I wanted to put it all together because usually all this information is pre presented to us separately and it is definitely very confusing until you see how it all fits together and I really hope that this video was useful to you and if you're taking anatomy and physiology to course then I hope that this made sense to you. Thank you for watching and um, I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.